Howdy y'all and welcome to the Hillbilly Horror Channel. Over here on the hills of Slovenia. Alright, so we have chickens now and we have sheep and they all have at least a little bit of food. Yeah, they've got a little bit. I mean, just a bare minimum amount of food, but it'll work out. Our silage is progressing a little bit slow, but that'd be alright. And I think what we're going to do today is we're going to try to get some work done. Now, our grass is not quite, it's not there. You can see there, it's not, it's not there. Of course, across, stuff across the road is just, we just now cut it, so it's not going to, there's nothing going to happen there. But, I tell you what, man, we're going to get some preparations done. And my plan today is to buy this field, which we are a long ways from buying that field. But as you can see over here, I got me another special little emblem over there on the side. I downloaded a loan system because I don't really like the in-game loan system. So originally when the loan system come out in FS13 or 15, whatever it was, when they first come out with a mod called the Bank of Hagenstead. That worked out a lot better than it does now. Like right now, you can get a loan for $500,000 and all it costs you is like a few grand a day or something. I mean, it's it's a little ridiculous. But the Bank of Hagenstead is a lot like this. As in every morning when you, you know, every night when you sleep, it takes out interest and it takes out a payment. So if we click on Take Loan, it actually assesses, this blunt, this mod assesses everything you own, property and land and all that good stuff, and it says our maximum amount is $184,368. If you take out that loan, let's just go ahead and put in here, my plan is to put $180,000, and then say we just want to spend one year paying it off every morning, every night, every month, I guess, we're going to have to pay $15,000 every month. And this interest rate, as far as the mod description says, it changes. So that might go up or down or whatever, but right now it's at 3.5%. So we're just going to say, let's see what, what we can handle here. Two years will be $7,800 a month. I think that's what we're going to go for. Two years would be a really long time. I mean, if we can afford it, we're going to, like, pay more than this. But, and then if we don't need all this, then we'll save it for our payments. But my hopes is if we do it right, then we can take out the loan, buy the stuff, and, you know, hopefully sell enough stuff to repay the loan. But our issue at the moment is I'm going to have to probably go to bed early. If you know what I'm saying, wink, wink. Um, so that that field down there will go ahead and grow. Because it should be ready to harvest tomorrow or next month. Wink, wink. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go to bed. Or at least go in here and watch telly, television until, uh, until we need to go to bed. And then, you know, which I don't know, whatever. Let's go ahead and sleep through the night because if I took out the loan then then this morning when we wake up we'd have to pay one of our payments and we don't really have the money for that I mean I guess we would but it seems like it'd be a little bit of a waste plus the day was almost over anyway but let's go ahead and look it should be ready to harvest and it is remove foliage now let's see if the other part of my plan stuck around it did there we go. Valtra Valmet. Oh, there's that, but that's... Mm, that doesn't... Uh, 260. It don't even matter. But anyway. So let's take out our loan. It says you can take still take the same amount. We're going to take 180000 for two years. And... Oh. We're, we're in debt now. We're, we're really in debt now. Alright, let's call the... Call the real estate people tell them we want this farm for eighty three thousand dollars let's see if we can just mess everything up today I mean that that's the plan 
Let's see if we can just break the whole system. So right now we're going to walk to the store and we're going to buy that tractor that's on sale down there. We're going to buy, or we're going to probably lease. I don't know how everybody feels about leasing stuff, but you know. We gotta pay the money, and like when we're done with it, I mean, if we, it's actually probably gonna cost. It's gonna cost us more because that field's probably gonna take more than an hour to do. Um, but we're gonna do one piece of equipment at it. Like we're gonna do the remove foliage topper deal. All right, so let's set this up. Let's do. I like those better looking. Wheel setup. I don't know if we want, I don't really want narrow tires, but, well, no, that'd cost an extra thousand dollars. We don't want that. We don't want any of this other stuff. The blue can stay. That can stay. Can we still spell out our thing? Probably not. We don't need a plate on a tractor. It'd be fine. So that's $59,000. And we are going to buy that, because, of course, you can't lease used equipment. And then we are going to lease this thing because we have to for $1,249. We are running super low on money at the moment. Hopefully this pays off. How much is that going to cost? $5,000 to lease that thing. Oh, wait. Um, so five grand initial cost. And then per work hour, it's another two thousand dollars. Oh, we are. Oh, we got a new tractor though. I mean, we got we got that going for us. I mean, that's exciting, right? It's very stressful. It's a whole lot bigger tractor than you know what we were running, the Massey Ferguson. This isn't exactly my plan, and I don't know how everyone's going to feel about this, because it's we're going up in the world, but um, hopefully we can pay, like, most of the loan off or something whenever... Maybe I should have put a weight on the back of this thing. Um, whenever we... Because we're going to have to sell that sugar beet, like, right away, just because of the fact that we don't have anywhere to store it. So we're going to have to sell it straight away. I did get a pretty good comment from this series. Um, I really should have pulled up his name on the thing. But I got a comment saying that he liked how much I showed in the series. Because most people just sit here and skip around. and I don't really like that. I mean, honestly, this, this harvest might take two or three episodes. Because of, you know, the amount of work it's going to take. But that's fine. I mean... That's what we're in it for, right? We're in it to watch Farm Sim. Or at least you're in it to watch Farm Sim. I'm in it to make Farm Sim videos. And see if you guys will watch it and hit the like button. Like you should probably do at this very moment. But, uh, yeah. And then another guy commented saying that, uh, I sound like, uh, Boom Hour from King of the Hill. If you're that guy and you're watching, I like, I do really like that show. It, it's hilarious. I think Boomhauer's he's actually probably one of my favorite characters in that show, but you know, other than the I sell propane and propane accessories. I like that too. Right, let's get this thing fired up. Ooh, we don't want to drive on there. Is that not gonna how's that work? Is it not going to work on the front? Oh, it's not. Oh, there's no PTO. How's that going to work, though? I guess, do I need narrow tires on this tractor in order to use it? Or do I have to drive backwards? That's going to be very inconvenient. Yeah, I bet that's what it is. I bet I've, I bet I've got to drive backwards or go... Huh. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. 
that's that's not gonna work for me uh, so wait what was it I said I need to put narrow tires on that's what I need to do uh, let's go ahead and drop this here because we're gonna run back to the store we might as well grab uh, let's see we might as well grab that other piece of equipment I should have just brought it with me because if I'm not using it then it shouldn't it won't charge me more money Ooh, yeah all right we got her cooking now we got it all got my tires changed over I got that other piece of the harvester pulled behind the old thing he brought over here and I even did an outline in the field so that we can figure out where it is because it kind of blends in with this grass and I will say I've been thinking that maybe I went about the getting the sheep the wrong way so if anybody's thinking that I, that's what I've been thinking I probably should have hauled them sheep in myself and I should have waited and cut some grass to feed to them but I don't know I guess just spur of the moment I thought let's buy some sheep but then I'm like now I'm like well probably should have went and hauled them to the farm myself and I probably should have went and got put cut some grass like we're gonna cut some of this grass and take it over there and make sure to fill their trough and stuff and then uh, really wish I had a place to put all that silage in the in the meantime because as soon as it gets to where I can open it it'd be nice if I could store it until the price gets as high as it needs to be and then you know put this grass in there and blanket it again so we can get more silage but we don't have a silage pit or anything. There is a pit right next to the silage pit. So I guess we could move it all over there. I think that's supposed to be for cow manure. But since we don't actually have any cows. Then I don't see why we couldn't just move the silage over there. For the time being. It would be nice if we had a, uh, a conveyor belt. But I don't think we can afford that. But we could do some tractor loader work. And just move that that silage from one little pit to the next. Alright, yeah. I got her all topped off. I thought that was gonna. What are we doing here? Fold, hone fold. That's it? That's all it's gotta look like? What's the t pipe out look like? Okay, it looks like that. I don't know that I've ever used this before. Let's get it. Let's get with it. I have no idea. I was gonna say it's like is that not working oh it's working all right I will say though I think this heart this tractor has like five more horsepower than this thing recommends so it's a good thing this field is flat because it, it might struggle with it just a little bit and we are gonna get a load of sugar beets so like all right so we rented we leased the harvester oh, that doesn't really look any different at all does it it's gonna be super tough how am I gonna be able to tell I mean you can just barely tell that it's made any 
any difference at all. That is crazy. Why? Like, there's bare, I guess from down here you can tell, but that's not much of a change. Not, a, not at all. It also seems like it, uh, oh, like it takes a little bit from it get, for it to get from the ground to the hopper. But usually when it's like that, if you don't stop short, you'll lose some. Alright, so it stops harvesting there. It was about 84. Five. Okay, so it only puts about 2% more or something like that in there. That's not that big of a deal, but I mean, when you're talking about our farm, every percentage counts. I mean, every sugar beet on this field is needed because we are just, we're in debt to the bank right now. I, I am not going to lie, we are, we are deep in debt to the bank more than what we probably should have. Alright, so that's turned off. Oh, uh, we might have wasted just a little bit there. Maybe... It, oh, it should have turned off, shouldn't it? What is it doing? I don't know. Anyway, let's, uh... Do, 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 I don't... I need something to haul it with. Hmm. We've got our truck... I guess if I walk to the farm, get our truck, I think, pretty certain I can get a, uh, a bed for it, but I don't know how much that bed will hold. Probably not that much. Uh, pro I think it's less than the hopper on that harvester. But we can't afford a trailer. I guess, hey, we still got those wooden trailers, though. That might work. I wonder if those would haul stuff. I have no idea. I think they could, right? Don't remember. So that, oh, it says they hold 1400 apiece. We have two. So if we put the grain bed on our truck. Okay, we got nothing in there. Oh, and I left that tractor running. Okay, the tractor's not leased, though. So, so what, what are you doing, chicken? See that suicide chicken? Crazy bird. Doesn't really. I guess our trees have grown a little bit, maybe? I couldn't tell. It looks like it might be a little bit bigger, but I doubt it. I think the trees take a, like a long time to grow, don't they? I mean, you get a lot of money for them, so I guess we got that going for us. It'd be nice if we could save the sugar. Ooh. It'd be nice if we could save the sugar beets. I was thinking we needed to go to the shop, but we need to take these with us, because they also need to be modified. Oh, uh, yeah, I'd forgotten about these. So, I think, right, I think the truck will hold 4,000 when it has the grain bed on, and then those will hold 1,400 apiece, so that's 2,800. So, 6,800 liters, that's, well, that's more than the, the harvester holds, so I guess that's that's a plus. That's what I was kind of hoping for. I'd forgotten all about these trailers, though. It's a really good thing we kept these. All right, let's shut that off for a minute. There we go. All right, customize. We just do that. Customize. Oh, it's not catching the one. So then we need to do this. What's that going to cost us? $1,500. Is that all that'll do? Yeah. So we've got an animal transport. That, that would have cost us $2,500. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, we need that, though. Right, let's customize it. That's terrible that we got to pay that much money to... Customize it. Are we like missing something? How do you. Close back cover. Okay, there we go. 
course the vehicles are gonna be squirrely. They do the weirdest stuff sometimes, like they'll stop even though they probably shouldn't. See now I don't know which one it is. It's not that one, apparently. Alright, so they both now have attached. There we go. Whoa, what was up with that? Why are they going all weird on me? So we now have a... What's going on here? Oh, my hand was on a weird spot in the steering wheel, I guess. Freaking me out. I thought I was, like, turning, and I wasn't. That was... That was... I don't know. That, that was probably funnier than I thought it was, but I was thinking it was hilarious. Alright, let's go empty this thing. It doesn't, it looks like we're gonna, it's gonna take quite a bit to run this, you know, empty this over and over and over and over, because if one harvester load will almost fill all of this, which means we've got to make a trip to the sell point once every harvester full, this is gonna take a long time. But hopefully that means it's a lot of money, I guess. And that's like overshooting it, but it's going in, I guess. Alright, so there's 4,000. Let's see if we can turn. It's, it's not going to help. But... Uh, I didn't even look to see if those even take sugar beet. Oh, they better. Maybe they just weren't quite in the trigger. Oh, that's going to be kind of terrible if they don't. Oh, okay, they do. Good deal. Alright, 54.30 actually. There we go. Let's turn that off. And then, since this is still running. Alright, are we... I can't tell if we're in the, in the stuff or not. I guess it's down. I think we're going... Yeah, we're going. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, this is going to take a long time. It's going to be a whole lot of harvesting, but... And I think... I looked it up, and Sugar Beets, the best sell time is January, and it's only October, but like I said, we don't have anywhere to store this unless we just, like, pour it on the ground somewhere. And that's just... That's not ideal at all. It's going to take a long time to harvest this, I think, though. So we're going to have to pay that extra fee. And we're going to have to sell... Well, I don't know if we'll have to sell some of it or not to pay the loan. What did it say our loan payment was? I can't remember. Alright, I guess I'll do a little bit of harvesting and, you know, do one of them speedy up bit things again and... I won't do all of it though. We might only do like half of the field today, you know. Which I guess we're almost we're like 74% of the way full, so maybe we'll just stick it out. We'll go sell a load. See, I hate tractors backing up in this game. I mean, it just. It needs, it needs to stop trying, like, it'll get moving, and then it'll keep trying to shift. Like, it wants to go faster. It's like, all I want you to do is just go backwards. I don't understand the wanting to keep shifting. I don't understand how that works. I'm getting her, though. I have to look up and see where we sell them at. Alright, let's stop there. Okay. Yeah, we gotta be careful, man. Apparently, I really don't like these harvesters. Because it won't shut off. It'll shut off, like, when the harvester says it's full. But then, you still got, like, a couple of percentage points uh, that you've just wasted. They just disappear. I don't, I don't know. It's just it's a little bit frustrating. if 
we can get this completely full. I guess we could try to get a bigger, a little bit bigger trailer. Like we could trade. Which I don't know if that'll fill up if that's if that tractor's turned off. I don't think it will. Okay, yeah, it's got to be running to, to fill the thing. Let's see where they want us to take it to. Sugar beet, sugar beets, here we go. GCHB grain elevator. Where's that? All the way on the other side of the map. All right, so we got to go to the farm, go to the store, take a left at the shop. Okay, and it's back up that way. See, so it's 117. But man, look at that. We could more than double our money if we could save it till January. I don't think there's any way we could do that. I don't know of a way. I don't think there's any other than just dumping it in a pile. We've, we've got no options. Sheds. I think we have Yeah, I don't I mean we got this, but that's a hundred grand. There's no way. Yeah, other than just dumping it in a pile somewhere, I don't know what else to do with it. I hate to sell it, man. That just seems terrible to sell it for such a low price. Knowing that we if we saved it, we could just you know, we could make twice as much money if we saved it just a few months because October November December yeah three months three months we can make twice as much money we've got to figure something out I can't sell it at that price if I know the price is gonna go way up I mean so we're in October we're at the very we're just above the very lowest price we we're gonna I'm gonna have to figure something out give, give me a minute we're gonna figure something out come up with a plan and the plan is to dump the sugar beets in this shed that we have under here I've moved the trailers and the fertilizer and that metal thing deal that was over there and we're we're gonna do it I see what I have a, see how it works I I just cannot sell these at half as much I mean as we could make I mean that that just seems like a terrible idea. I mean, you guys might think it's, you know, well, I doubt you'll think it's ridiculous, but all we gotta do is dump them there. They'll be out of the weather. You know, nothing should be able to get to them. Hopefully the chickens don't eat too many. But we'll just save them for a few months. You know, and uh, then we'll have to load them back into this truck. The trailers are still got sugar beets in them. I didn't empty those. Uh, they still they, they're still full of stuff uh, I just parked them under the straw shed thing I guess over there and uh, so they'll stay full and then we'll just sit here and cart it back and forth with the truck and see how much of it we can get at least this this episode come on man all right it's gonna work i mean we're gonna make a load of money because we're gonna do this and then we're gonna mow that grass and then after that we're going to plow all the way to the edge of that hill right there because that's all we you know we own all of that so you might as well plow everything you got you know and turn it all into something else i don't know what but and then we're gonna i guess try to in the meantime keep enough money in the bank like if we have to we'll haul some in like silage or sugar beets or something you know to make sure we can pay our loan payment because I don't even I don't even know what's going to happen if the bank does you know if we default on our loan I don't know if they're going to come get our truck or they'll want to take part of the farm or something I don't I don't really know we're not going to find that out, though, because we're 
we're gonna be honest farmers and we're gonna pay our bill I mean we we told them we gave them our word told them we'd pay them back and we're going to I don't care if we got to work night and day to get it done we're gonna pay them back can't remember. Was that truck full? I can't remember. Like I said, I'm going to have to be careful. I don't want to... See, I lifted it up there and it, it come pretty close to going, you know, hitting 100%. I don't... I really don't want to waste any. Come on, tractor. It's, it's struggling with this thing. I guess if I turn it off, that would help a little bit. Oh crap. Turn the steering wheel the wrong way. I guess that truck's full maybe? Let's check it. I bet it is. Oh it is. I'm telling you this this truck should hold more than that. I mean look how much space I got left in there. Maybe I ought to adjust that. Four thousand just doesn't seem like enough. I think seven I was thinking seven thousand would be a good number of it. Maybe like 6,200 or something. Some random number. Like that ought to, We ought to be able to heap that all the way up. Especially since we're not going very far. 4,000 just doesn't seem like much at all. Move out of the way, chickens. I'll, I'll fertilize you. I'm going to try to keep it about... What? What the crap? Why is it switching? I must have pushed the wrong button, I guess. Unload side. I don't think I ever pushed you, but apparently I did. That's alright. It made it back, so we got that going for us. See if I can drive here. Guess we'll get this haul over there too, and I, I think we're gonna call it a day. I'd say that's probably enough for today. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and you know had fun and all that stuff. So if you did, and even if you didn't, like and subscribe and comment and share and notification and you know all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Just go ahead and do it. But uh, yeah, join me for the next episode, which is. It's going to be sugar beet harvesting because I'm going to, as soon as I stop recording, I'm going to stop, I'm going to stop doing stuff. I'm going to deliver this last load of here and then I'm just going to take a break, I guess. Because I can't really do nothing around this farm without show, you know, without you guys here joining me. If I can drive, that would be great. Apparently I'm coming at the wrong angle or something. yeah i guess overall hopefully you enjoyed it and uh as always have a good one